Video games are one of the few art forms that put the audience in direct control of the art. The player's agency is one of the most defining characteristics of gaming. Player agency is really just a fancy term to describe how much control the player has over what happens in the game. Game developers have toyed around with the idea of players being in control of a story's narrative for a while now. It's a very hard concept to nail down though. A lot of the time it just feels unnatural, like you're just making a binary decision in the narrative that will cause events in the storyline to branch off a certain way. It feels very much like you're picking choice A or picking choice B, so to speak, and you can see through it really easily. Firewatch, however, takes the concept of player choice and uses it to craft a narrative that feels natural. Firewatch starts off with a modern romance of sorts, told to the player through a series of choose-your-own-adventure style text boxes. During this sequence, our player character, Henry, meets his future lover, Julia, at a bar, and from here the couple hit it off. How and what happens during their relationship is dictated in part by the player's text box choices, but ultimately, they all culminate in Henry finding a job in a paper as a firewatch in Shoshone National Forest. From here, the player is prompted to climb up a watchtower and pick up their walkie-talkie, where they meet their supervisor, Delilah. Firewatch is largely designed around choosing responses in conversations with Delilah over the walkie-talkie, as she supervises you and puts you to work in the National Forest. How you respond to Delilah in conversation determines how Henry and Delilah's relationship develops. Whether this relationship is just a friendship or some kind of love affair is sort of up to interpretation by the player. Regardless though, the dialogue between Henry and Delilah is interesting all the way through. These characters are written and voiced amazingly. Delilah is one of my favorite video game characters. She's so shrouded in mystery, and you almost never really get a real grasp on what her intentions or motivations are. But you oddly end up liking her anyways. The entire narrative is complemented by beautiful visual design. Seriously, this game looks beautiful. The whole thing has a real warm color palette to it, and I really grew to love Shoshone National Park as I explored through it more throughout the game. The soundtrack is also fantastic and complements the atmosphere and the setting about as best as you could with the soundtrack. As you explore this forest and traverse this open world environment, you'll have a ton more conversations with Delilah. The choices you have really impact the development of how the dialogue plays out. However, they don't control much in terms of the overall story beats in the plot. What I mean is that no one decision will cause a path to branch off in the story and reveal entirely new content. This type of thing would happen in a Telltale game, for instance, like the Walking Dead games. I think some people may consider this a major flaw in Firewatch and claim that this is an illusion of choice since none of the player's choices affect the plot in terms of the actions that happen within it. But I would argue that because Firewatch doesn't let the player significantly alter the game's major story arcs, the game feels more realistic and true to life. Because typically when games decide to have the plot dictated by players' actions, they do it in a very obvious way. They make it so that the player knows that if they choose a certain dialogue option, they're going to more likely go down a story route. Games like Shadow the Hedgehog, for example, do this all the time. In Shadow the Hedgehog, the whole game is based around making binary decisions. You either go hero dark or neutral, and the only reason you choose those narrative decisions is to see a certain route. You don't actually do it because you're invested in the narrative, you do it so that you can see more levels in the game. This type of player agency feels very boring and stale because you can easily see where your choices are heading and what the game is doing with those choices. It makes it so that the player isn't naturally making a decision because they agree with it, but rather they are making a decision because it will net them a certain ending or a certain path. But Firewatch makes the player choice feel more personal and small scale, which makes it have more impact and feel more natural. But that's all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one.